What's good, man? It's KK, yo, man. Before we get into this, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Y'all know what to do. About to get into this footage, man, of G Herbo. He was shedding tears live on a podcast, man. Speaking up on one of his deceased homies, man, Greg, who unfortunately lost his life due to gun violence in Chicago, man. And today is his birthday also, so we're going to send a happy birthday to him, man. You know, uh, we're about to get into No Limit Cairo as well. He has some words about the whole situation as well. Not about G Herbo, but just, you know, his homie and what they done did to people for his homie. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, I really wanted to share this footage because, you know, I, I, I got a lot of respect for G Herbo to allow himself to be vulnerable enough to put his feelings out there on air and not care what nobody think and not care what the Internet, you know, has to say about it. And, uh, you know, also just, you know, what his enemies has to say about it. You know, like people in Chicago, they love to troll. They love to, you know make fun of others pain bro but i just want people to see the pain and and what goes down in the streets bro like not only the good fun side because the streets is fun it's addictive bro but this is the side that people need to see that isn't seen often you know what i'm saying so it's a lot of respect to g herbo for putting himself out there you know what i'm saying to be vulnerable enough to be spoken about or people having their different views and opinions on him shedding tears and putting his feelings out there man because you know even as men we don't put our feelings out there and let people see us crying and let people see that we actually hurt or broken. You know what I'm saying? So that's a, that, that's a, that's a uh, big problem in the community as well that people feel as if we can never have feelings. We can't cry. We can't. You know what I'm saying? I done cried plenty of times, man, especially when you know one of your loved ones passed away, man. So, yeah, man, a lot of respect to G Herbo, man. And I hope that brother can get you know healing and you know the whole time heals his pain man uh, uh yeah man we finna get into this footage you know what i'm saying i always right. just say like I always just like, one day I'm gonna yeah, talk yeah. to this you know that, nigga, we used to be talking yeah, about you saying, like, folks, we gotta go get with Asante gang. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, for what folks at, we was trying to hunt you down, broski. I ain't gonna lie, me and little bro was trying to, hey, Asante gang. Damn. Hey, look what up, son? We used to be trying to hunt you down, though, little bro. I ain't gonna lie. So. Oh, well, she used to be looking for you. I ain't even about me. I'm supposed to be talking about you. Oh, for real, man? Oh, well. I'm glad I called him, man. Santi, hey, man. You got my herb in his feelings over here, man. He missing you, bro. I had to call you up, bro. So he always been like this little passionate ass. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Oh, hold up. Yeah, he be with me. I can't stop thinking about him. The only person I ever lost was my blood cousin. Besides him, I ain't never lost nobody that's this close to me in spirit. And this boy be with me every fucking day. And I know he loved me because he came to me twice in my dreams. Until a year later, after that situation, came to me twice, and it fucking killed. Nah, folks, yeah. looking for you though. Know, yeah. I ain't gonna back. Yeah. I don't know what Shorty really meant to me. No, nah, folks, he was trying to hunt you down, gang. Your ass a goofy, you disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Sati, man. <laughs>